Suskin, public information officer for your county inside a sewage pump station. Just what you come to social media for, right? Raw sewage. Today we're going to tell you how your county is tackling growth from your toilet down. But first, here's your county council update. Council gave final approval to the fiscal year 2025 York County budget. Approved increases in some park fees at Ebenezer, Allison Creek and Field Day Parks. Approved accommodations tax funding for fiscal year 2025 for $171,250 to boost tourism and support local events. Approved road projects for Pennies for Progress 5 for the November ballot. And approved a 4% rate increase for water and sewer. This increase is due to the City of Rock Hill raising its rates by the same amount as your county buys water from the city. It's also a much smaller increase than originally expected. This is all pretty much woods back in here. Our utilities program manager, Barry McKinnon, has a great motto when it comes to sewage. This is the phrase we live by, keep it in the pipe. We don't want that sewer to get loose. We want it when it comes from your house. We want it to go to our pipe. Uh, go to the bottom of the hill, then it's going to hit another pump station, it's going to pump it up over the hill. Pump stations like this one at Crowder's Creek and Lake Wiley do a lot of work. If it goes down your drain, it comes here. When this one was put in in the 90s, it pumped about a million gallons a day. Now, it pumps four million. That's because 25 years ago, none of these neighborhoods or businesses were here. Massive growth has led the county to begin building new pump stations that can handle 12 million gallons a day. And neighbors, who often complained about the stink, won't so much anymore. Everything out here is pretty much exposed, so when it comes to odor control, we just really can't manage it. That'll change with the new $18 million pump station. It'll all be indoors. If you're wondering where that $18 million is coming from, $8 million comes from your water and sewer bills. 10 million from a federal grant using COVID relief money through the South Carolina Infrastructure Investment Program. The project will be finished in two years and set us up well for future growth. Heads up, a major Fort Mill area road project will be underway in just weeks. Highway 21 will be widened from Springfield Parkway to I-77 and Highway 51 will be widened from 21 to the flea market at the state line. Crews will begin clearing trees and moving utility lines next month. Thanks for watching Your County Now. Sometimes when it comes to making a difference, it's the things you see, and sometimes it's the things you're glad you don't see. We'll see you next time.